guys welcome back to another m creator tutorial so today what we're going to be looking at is how to create something more advanced with file manager so we're going to be creating uh, subgroups or sub objects which are basically inner parts of groups of the values and stuff like that so some of the questions that i constantly get is basically how do you get multiple um, subgroups inside of each other. So we'll be covering that as well today. Uh, the first thing that we need to do is actually test uh, for the player. Um, we're gonna be tweaking the code a little bit from last time. I'm gonna be demonstrating how you can use a um, display name. So we're gonna to need to get the display name of the player. So we're gonna be keeping track of how many blocks they break or place and giving them a score based on that uh, value. So once we do that, uh, what we need to do is actually set up the file, but we can't do that until we have the variables set up. So we need local variables. We're going to set uh, the file. We're just going to call it my file. You can call it whatever you like, but um, I'm just going to keep it simple. And then we have a file thing. Now we're going to need three different JSON or JSON objects. So I'm going to call it uh, the main object which is going to be our main object for what we're going to be like a root object. And then we're going to have a sub object, which is going to be one, which is our, going to be our layer one. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have a sub object layer two. So this can keep repeating as far as you want, but um, just keep in mind that you, there's a long process of having to set all this script up. So we're just going to be doing two at the, this, this point in time, uh, just so it, you can kind of get the idea of how it works. So now that we have that, we can start working on the uh, file uh, directory. So we're going to start working on that. We're going to set the file variable to a location. Uh, we're going to save this as a JSON file. We're going to update the player name so it's under a certain path. So the, the next thing that we need is configure uh, config and then our mod namespace. So it doesn't just mix it in with other mods files. And then we're going to go ahead and just give it a subfolder called blocks or score one of the two. And we could always call it players as well. That would uh, allow us to put it in there. And then what we're gonna need is create text width and we're going to drop that over here and we're going to need one for the player uh, file as well so the file name i'm going to collapse this so it's a little bit easier to see all right so once we do that uh, what we need is we're going to need to get the um the game directory so that goes on to the path one and then what we want is the display name of the player. So it will be create a new file per player. Uh, one of the things that you might have noticed is the global trigger I'm using as player joins the world uh, for the global trigger. This will immediately create the config file when the player joins the world. So all the files are pretty much set up soon as the player joins. So this is important. So you can actually do things later on without having to wait for the config to generate. So we're going to do that. Uh, I've noticed it works really well. So we're going to test if the config file doesn't exist and then it will will create the file itself. And this is only going to happen if the file doesn't exist. So uh, we don't want to run anything else there. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to leave this as we're going to set this to the, the one and we're going to set the total score to the one sub object. Uh, this will put it into the one category for this one object. We're gonna set that to zero. And then we also want to get the break score, which uh, will be for, will be in the second category and we want the place score to be in the second category as well and we're setting that to zero next what we need to do is we need to go to file manager again and then we're going to grab this top block and we're going to call this one blocks and then we're going to put that in our subcategory of one so once we select that one we want this one to be in our um sorry this needs to be two and then this needs to be one and then we're going to have our 
main object and then our first object and we're going to call this one score i think i called it so once we do that what we can do is we can finally write to the file uh, those two blocks need to be done after the script uh, for basically assigning the values so it will properly apply it to uh, the right method so once we do that we can finally collapse all these things down into one complete group and then write the file so basically everything this goes into that one and all these go into the specific order so whatever is generated first will be basically generated first so for example the uh, first sub object will be at the top of the file where the two sub objects will be in the bottom so keep that in mind all right so once we do that uh, what we can do is we can start working on a write method that was the creating method and now we need to start writing the file so we're going to write it for uh, breaking the blocks we can just expand this particular procedure so we can get the um, system that we need for it so what we're going to do is we're going to actually delete that create block so we don't need to create the file again we're going to test if it's already existing and then we're going to keep the same path we're going to also change the global variable so it's on the um, block broken on block broken or whatever and then what we need is to read the JSON file and we're going to place all that inside there and then what we're going to need to do is make sure that it's targeting the main object so that that's fine and then what we need to do is actually apply uh, a couple variables uh, that we had our groups our subgroups so blocks and uh, score to the particular object that we want our sub object so for example this one's in the main object, which is score, and then the other one is blocks, and this is in sub-object one, and this needs to go into for sub-object two. So once we do that, it will be able to read the other contents in below or between the two blocks there. So we don't, um, I, th I think that's pretty much, we still need these two blocks. So if all we really need to do is make sure that the math for increasing the score is updated. So to do that, uh, what we need to do is we need to go ahead and shift some of these around, remove one, and then what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and grab a math block. Um, actually, I wanna undo that so I have the same name. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to math, add a block here, and then we're going to um, place this here, and then go subtract and then what we want to do is we want to get these two values so uh, we want the block score or place score and then we want to set the sub object for that and it's under two so we want to make sure it's under the same as sub object and we want to make sure that this is subtracting by the break object this should give us a total score of whatever the place blocks are minus the um, actual blocks for the um, breaking. So it will give us kind of like a score. So if we mine five or place five and mine two, then it will give us a score of three. All right, so we're just increasing the score for the place block and then we're good to go for this one. Uh, the next thing that we need to do is basically duplicate this and create a place block procedure so we're writing to the procedure as well for when we place a block and then we can basically update the score on that um, particular thing so uh, for example what we have is this we just need to switch some of these variables around this is going to be block um, placed and then we need to make sure that the um, method is still the same but outside of that that's basically the same particular procedure everything is running the same way that it was in the other one we just need to update the variable for this particular one uh, we still need the dependencies or the local variables for all these so make sure that you have the local variables and that they're set up the same way all right so the last major thing that we need to do is actually read from the file so this is a little bit different uh, this is going to require us to duplicate the procedure again and then we can start making some changes to this particular thing. So we don't actually need a lot of this stuff. Uh, we just need some stuff for um, getting the 
variables set up. And then what we're going to need is some local variables that we can pass it on to a uh, send message to player block, which we can later test in game. So we're going to set the three variables for numbers based on our total score, block breaking score, and the place block score. And then what we can do is we can basically assign these in the read block and pass them over to outside of the read block later on in the script. So we're going to just quickly create these variables. We have them now so we can start working on actually applying them to our our list. So let's go ahead and drop the three local, uh, number variables down here and we'll update these to the respective ones that we need and then what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we get the block. So I'm looking for file manager. Uh, we can just actually drag these over to here I think <laughs> that would probably be easier. So this would be the break score and the play score and then we have the total score which should be under the category one and we can just grab the name from there so it's all set up properly now once we've done that we don't actually need anything else for this particular thing we're already we're already applying the variables so it's all ready to go we just need to basically have an action for the player to actually see the variables so we're going to go ahead and create some script uh, inside the does file exist so we can basically write to the player what the score is for all of these. So I'm just going to quickly update the total score and then we'll have a our variable between here and then we'll update or add a comma and then I think this is the place score or break score. Yeah, this is place score. It's a little bit hard for me to see the screen. And then we want the place score variable. And then we want a couple more, which is going to be our break score. So break score. And then we need one more line for the break variable. So there we go. All right, so that's basically it. That's all we need to do for this particular one to demonstrate. So we'll go in game now and we'll quickly take a look at how everything's set up. We just need to make sure that all these variables are set up properly. So we're gonna set this one to player uh, sends chat. So basically anytime we print a message, it will basically tell us. So I'm creating the file right now in the config. You can see that it is completely empty. And we're gonna leave that um, up here and then we're going to create the file i'm going to drag over the uh, folder here and we can actually see it generate when the player joins the world now in the background the player is actually joining the world right now so basically it's creating the player folder and all the json files so if we open up this file right now with notepad plus uh, plus what we can see is we have three categories we have our uh, sub object ones and then our variable for sub object one and then our sub object two and then our two variables for sub object two and these um, basically the closing brackets are basically what sub object so this is our main object and then we have our two sub objects inside of that particular one so that's basically how the sub objects work when it's actually creating it it creates like a group for them so this can be handy when you need to test for certain things I'll expand that later on in the future so we're just going to place down five blocks and then we're going to go ahead and um, check the score so it's updated so I'm going to click yes to update the variable and then we can see that there is a score of five and our place score is five as well so we know that this part works perfectly fine so the next thing that we need to do is kind of break two blocks. I'm just going to break these two blocks here. And then we're going to check our score again. And you can see we have a score of three. So this is because we have removed two points from the total five place, which equals three. So our subtraction from two to from the five is actually how many is our total score. So that's pretty uh, useful. Now we're gonna just say something in chat. So hello world. And then we can see that this value is printed out for us using the uh, the variables. So three 
our place score is five and our break score is two. So this equals a score of three. So that's pretty handy. That's all the time that I have for today. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.